Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad, and I am a reseller. I mainly sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I am, I decided I'm going to relist some things on Facebook Marketplace just to see. I don't know. I delisted a bunch of everything, and then I decided I'm going to relist everything again just to see if things will sell. Um, I'm also selling things on Grailed and TradeZ, but I don't tend to make that many sales because I don't consistently list there. So, yeah, there's always that. Anyway, this is a What's Old video, and this is not going to be nearly as spectacular as last time. Um, so this will be from July 8th to July 14th. So things did slow down a little bit. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I um, said that recently on a post that, you know, I kind of have to listen to my body because I do have an autoimmune disorder. It's inflammatory arthritis. And so when I'm not feeling great, I need to listen to that so I don't, you know, burn out, whatever. So without further ado, let's get to it. First item that sold was on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It sold on the 8th. Um, obviously it's going to be up there. Anyway, it took 191 days for this to sell. I forgot like fossil made clothing until I found this in the bins. Would I pick this up again? No, I wouldn't. It sold for $15 on Facebook. I think I already said that anyway. Um, and it was a small, so it was cute though. My profit on that was $11 and 89 cents. And so, and it sold for 15 bucks, which isn't terrible, but yeah. Um, next item also sold on Facebook marketplace and it sold, it took 80 days for it to sell. I got them at the bins there. Oh, did I get them at the bins? Actually, no, I didn't. I think I got these at a thrift store, Allegra pedal, floral leather comfort shoes. They were size eight and, um, yeah, they, I don't know if I'd pick, I would pick these up at the bins, but I would not pick these up at the thrift store. That makes any sense. So my profit on that item was $13 and 67 cents. And, um, yeah, it is what it is. Next item sold on Poshmark and it's an armor vert Russo fleece dress and camel. I found two of these at the bins at the same time. So they're both, they both sold now. This one took 45 days to sell. The other one sold much quicker. Um, but it was also an extra large and this one uh, was a medium. So, um, I actually really thought it was a large anyway, I guess it's a medium I made $10.67 from that. Um, the next item, also on Poshmark, it took 38 days for it to sell, but I did find this at a, uh, the bins. It's Jilly, and I don't, I think there's two brands. I think there's there's Jilly, which is J.L.I. No, J.I.L.I. Um, and then there's Jilly without the dots. So they're not, I don't think they're the same brand. I think they're two different brands, but the Jilly with the, they like, look like initials or look like an acronym. It's uh, got it. Love it is what it stands for. And that is sold on QFC, not QFC, QVC. QFC is a grocery chain. It's owned by Kroger um, near me. So it's QVC, which is a home shopping network. Anyway. So that one is the one I think that does better than this one. So this sold for $18 though. And so I made a profit of $10 and 67 cents. And then on the bottom, of course, is still my running sales total and my running profit total is going to be at the bottom. Um, this Jay McLaughlin dress, um, it's a medium, it's a sheath dress, it's floral. I got it at the bins uh, 35 days ago. Well, it took 35 days for it to sell. I made a pretty good profit on it though. It sold for 40 bucks, did have a shipping discount. So I made a profit at $28 and 60 cents. So I was very happy about that. Uh, next item also sold on Poshmark 31. It took 31 days for it to sell. It's the Skechers Sport Women 10 Black. Uh, I can't, I don't know what the rest of it is. Anyway, they're size 10 Skechers. They're basically um, comfort shoes or athletic shoes, basically. So uh, they sold for $18 with a shipping discount on Poshmark. I'm sure I said that already. Sorry if I'm repeating information. Ten, it, I made a profit of $10.74. Um, before I forget, sorry about my last video. There was like 10 minutes of space afterwards. I didn't realize and I, 
I just recently got Adobe Premiere Pro as my editor. And so, um, or the editing software that I'm using. And so I'm still getting used to that. And I think I had used the base of a different video. And so it stretched it out. Anyway, um, I'll, it won't happen on this one because I just kind of upload this directly because I don't really edit it afterwards. But anyway, just wanted to say if, if you, some my friend, uh, Kristen told me about it. I'm like, Oh, I had no idea. I'm like, thanks for letting me know. Anyway. Um, this next item was also sold on Poshmark. It took 18 days for it to sell. Um, some Zara pieces sell for a bunch and some doesn't. So this was a medium. So it's a small size, small ish size. Uh, Zara, um, it's like a black, black satin asymmetrical dress. So it, it took, sold for $18 with a shipping discount. So um, my profit was $11 and nine cents. Um, this is American rag. It's women's it's sold on Poshmark. It took 15 days for it to sell. It's cute. Boho. -y. I would absolutely pick this up again because it, it sold quick and I don't mind the profit margin of $11. Of course, do I want more of a profit? Absolutely. But something like this, I don't mind because it's bread and butter, right? And that's what makes up the majority of my sales. I don't make a lot of high, high dollar sales. Although at the end of the month, I'll have some high dollar sales for you. Um, but not for this week and not largely for the next week as well. So it's going to be about the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, those bread and butter items, if you watch my last video or no, my last video, I think, was it a haul or what sold? I think it was a haul. My, my what sold before that where I sold $2,000, uh, made $2,000 in sales. Sorry. And um, a lot of it was bread and butter. A lot of it was small dollar sales and a few bigger high dollar sales sprinkled in. So yeah. Um, Land's End is a top um, swim top, basically size, not size 15. It took 15 days for it to sell. I made a profit of $10 and 41 cents. I do believe I picked this up at, and no, I did not pick this up at the thrift store. Anyway, it sold for $15. I got this at the bins. And, uh, next item is sold on Macari torrid pink off shoulder trapeze dress took 13 days for it to sell. Sold for $25 plus shipping. So I made a profit of $19 and 62 cents. Next item was a, um, lucky brand men's medium denim shirt. Took 13 days for this to sell, sold on Poshmark, um, and it sold for $15. So I made a profit of $10.15, which, like I said, I don't mind making $10 when it sells for under it when it sells in under two weeks. I mean, ideally, if it sells un, in under 30 days, that's perfectly great. Uh, this took 293 days for it to sell. I would not pick this back up. Actually, I don't largely pick up Altered State anymore because it just doesn't go for a ton. Like it used to, when I first started reselling, it went for a bit more, not anymore. Anyway, so this sold in Macari. It was new with tag too. Um, it's Altered State linen. It was a large linen striped dress. Like it was a good size. It was linen. So it's a good material. Why the hell did it take almost 300 days to sell? Don't know. Anyway, it sold for 20 bucks. Plus they paid shipping. So I made a profit of $15 and 38 cents. Um, these Aston gray, I got them shoes. I got them at the bins a hundred and took 115 days for them to sell. I thought they would sell for more when I got them. So I would not pick up this brand again. Um, it's over $22. I don't remember. Yeah. It had a shipping discount. So the profit was $13 and 56 cents. Um, this one used to go for more if I looked when I was looking at the comps, but it just didn't go for a whole ton. So um, it took 103 days for this to sell. And it's Fair Play Men Large Oversized Distress Long Sleeve Sweatshirt. I made 11, well, it sold for $16 plus shipping on Macari. And so I made a profit of $11.86. Um, sometimes Universal Thread does really, really well. This took 94 days for it to sell, didn't sell for a whole ton. So it sold for $13 on eBay. I think I'm on eBay. No, no, where am I? Let me consult my spreadsheet. 
Okay, it's sold on Poshmark. Oh, I that's oh, I must have concatenated this together. Oh yeah, I did. Anyway, it's sold on Poshmark uh, for $13. I don't know why I thought it was sold on different why it's sold on eBay because eBay now has a black background because I turned that on dark on my phone. I don't know. So, so I made $8.22, which is fine, but for a hundred days, I'd rather if I'm gonna make an eight dollar profit, I'd rather make that in less than 30 days rather than the, almost 100 days so i don't know i probably would i pick up this dress again no and i don't think it was new at tag though it may have been i don't remember um oh this one sucks so this was a macari sale but i had already deleted it off of macari um so i made negative two dollars and 17 cents on this it sold and it got lost in the mail. So this person, it went via FedEx and uh, the lady reached out to me. She's like, I, can I make a claim? And then she's like, well, FedEx won't let me make a claim. They have to require you to make the claim. So I looked into it and it was just going to be a big fat pain in the ass. And I'm not even sure how I can prove that it didn't get delivered to her. I don't know. I decided because it was it only sold for 20 bucks, but also... I only had $2.17 into this. I don't think it was going to be worth my time to file the paperwork to maybe get denied. So I decided I'm just going to take the loss on it. I refunded her and I called it a day. So, yeah. But I wanted to disclose that because I think that's important to like show that that, that kind of thing happens. Um, this is Lulu's Women's Small Front Tie Black Floral Dress. Took 39 days for this to sell. Sold for $18 on Poshmark. Um, it did have a shipping discount, so I made a profit of $11, which I don't mind. Uh, Lulu's dresses sell pretty well. I mean, not always for a time, but sometimes they can sell for a bunch. Like, I've sold new tag ones that weren't, like, the bridal type lines or the, like, um, the more formal type lines, um, just regular dresses. And I've sold that for, like, $50 if I find them new a tag. Um, but I don't always. So, anyway. Oh, this I've had. Oh, I guess I guess I didn't have this for a long time. Um, this sold on eBay, so it took 30 days for it to sell. It's a vintage Tianello, um, extra large Erica bias tank, and it was new attack. It was not new attack, sorry. Um, there was a different one that I sold not that long ago that was new attack. Um, $14.82 uh, was my profit, and it sold for 18 bucks. Plus, they paid shipping. Um, this... This one was a funny story. So there was a woman that had bought this on Macari, and then she promptly asked me to cancel it. And then I, so I do. And then I read the, she sent me a couple of messages. She asked me to cancel it. And then she sent me a couple of messages. She's like, well, I don't even know what the measurements are. I'm not even sure this will fit me. And I'm like, well, the measurements are in the listing. I mean, you, I don't know why you wouldn't review that before you bought, but you know, that makes no sense to me. I look at everything before I buy something. And if I don't, then that's on me. But um, so whatever. So I, I told her, you know, my mannequin is really a 6'8". It fit it just fine. So because it was it's an extra small, like a two. So she was worried it wouldn't fit her. But I'm like, it fits up to a six and it's in my, that's in my listing. You can see it's in my listing. Anyway, I didn't want to put up to an eight because it, it was like you know, I figured six would be better than an eight because eight, I don't know if it would have enough wiggle room. Anyway, because my man, my dress form is not a real person. It's not squishy. Anyway, so I canceled it. And then it sold to somebody else like two days later or maybe even the next day. So I made a profit of $10.82. But that wasn't the last time I heard from that lady. So that lady came back seven days later and she was like bummed out about the dress she lost, you know, missed out on, but she didn't have to, which was weird. Anyway, she goes on to say, oh, I want these six items. Can you bundle? Do you, will, do, are you willing to bundle? I said, absolutely. So I thought, you know, why not? So I bundled it all together. I said, yeah, let me, give me a minute. I'll make you a listing that's just for this. I'll, I'll modify one listing and I'll let you know. So I took all the different, just not descriptions, but the titles and I put it in the description for this one listing. But I don't put the pictures in there because that's too much of a pain in the ass, right? Because they're all in Vendu. I use Vendu. Um, and I would have to search through literally thousands of photos to bring in one photo of each one. 
Well, apparently she hadn't decided completely yet, but she made it sound like she had. Anyway, so the end of the day, I ended up delisting the one I made for her because it was like, she was like, oh, where, where are the other listings? I'm like, I took them down because you said you wanted to bundle. I didn't want them to sell if you wanted to buy this bundle because it was going to be like a $175 bundle. And no. So I ended up having to block that lady. Like, why? I, and, and Makari, why is there no bundle feature in your in your platform? Every other platform has one. Every major one, at least. eBay, Poshmark. Come on. Get it together. Anyway. End of rant. So, yeah. Fun times on Macari. So, this one, it took 20 days for it to sell. I probably sold it for a little bit less than I probably should have, but whatever. They did pay for shipping. It sold for, uh, on Facebook Marketplace, it's Cool Men's Large Thor, fourth zip fleece sweater, thermo core thumb holes. You know, you get the point. It's gray. Anyway, I made a profit of $21.64, so I can't really beat that you know, because it's on Facebook and they take minimal fees. Um, Glacier gear, outdoor vintage polar bear, like fleece. It took 16 days for this to sell. It sold for $25 on Poshmark. And so I made a profit of $18 and 15 cents. Okay. Urban outfitters. No, let me back up. American Eagle Outfitters. It's the amazing soft plaid um, flannel. This, I ended up tie-dyeing, bleach tie-dyeing, but it ended up doing like the entire thing because it was originally green, but then it did the whole thing and it was like, oh, okay, we ended up turning it like yellow and, and, you know, instead of the green, which I thought was, looked really cool. Anyway, so it sold for $30. Like literally the day I posted it, it sold, no, was it three days later? Yeah, you can't see it. I think it sold three days later, five days later, five days later. My bad. Um, anyway, so it it so I made twenty four dollars and nine cents. Sold for thirty plus shipping. So I made twenty four oh nine. I was very happy about that because I mean, a fast sale. It was American Eagle. Got at the bins. Had all the things. Okay, so Abio. I have mixed feelings about this brand. I feel like it could should do better, but I guess it doesn't. Anyway, I picked this up at the bins, I believe. Yes. Um, it sold on Poshmark for 20 bucks. No shipping discount. I made a profit of $13.99. Um, and it took 53 days for it to sell. This item it took 62 days for it to sell. It sold on eBay for $14 plus shipping. So I made a profit of $10.43, which I don't mind. I mean, 60 days for a $10 profit isn't terrible. Um, but I don't think I'd pick up this. It was silk, but I don't think I would. Uh, and it was a true wrap dress and a size medium. But I don't think I'd pick it up again, to be honest. Um, American Eagle Outfitters. It's High Rise Festival um, cut off basically jean shorts. They took 23 days for them to sell. They sold on Poshmark for $19. And so I made $13.61. Happy about that. Joie, I've had this for 100,000 years. It says 152 days. Just 152 days since I had it on that spreadsheet. I've actually had this way longer. Probably more like a, like a year and a half. No, no. Yeah, probably closer to that. Anyway. So it sold for $12.50 plus shipping on eBay. Finally, just get it out of my house and happy. I mean, it went from to Thread Up and Back. It went to Paisley Line and Back. It went nowhere else. It just sat there and then finally I listed it again. Anyway, so my profit was $10.86 and it took a thousand years to sell. Do I pick up these kinds of joie things anymore? No, I do not because they do not sell well. Unless I were to find like a bunch, maybe new tag or a bunch that were together, then like they were all similar sizes. I might get those if there's no flaws and lock them together because that actually might do better. But who knows? Um, Gerard Daryl, women's 38 US 10 silk blouse. Now, I've had this also for 100 million years. This is one of those items I ended up getting in that... Um, a mystery box that I, I bought from the Posh Kings a long time ago. 
And I don't really buy those anymore. I don't really buy anybody's mystery boxes anymore because for the most part, they're not great for reselling, honestly, especially when you buy things like this. Um, normally a lot in my experience. Now, when I was doing mystery boxes, they were not, I, I was made sure to make them good. You know, they weren't awful. You know, they didn't have bad things in them. If they had a flaw, then I just didn't realize it or I just closed it. Usually at sizes. They were the not so mystery boxes, right? And most people were happy with them. And I think they would make a, a pretty good profit because they, you know, their cost of goods were pretty low on it. But Honestly, the cost of goods on this box was actually kind of bad. And I think I made, I, I think I broke even. I, eventually, I think I broke even. So I would not suggest to buy one of these boxes in the future, not just from them or anybody, honestly. I mean, it just, just seemed like, these days it just seemed like, I mean, I bought this a couple of years ago, so it took forever. But I just, I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not a uh, mystery box girl anymore. I used to, and I used to love them, but no, nope, not anymore. I go to the bins and I will pick up my own inventory because I'm, I can pick up better stuff and stuff that will sell faster. And I think they were just getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I don't even think they were like underhanded about it. I'm not saying that or anything, but anyway, it sold for $16 finally on Poshmark. And so I made $12.80. I don't think I have my, my cost of goods was not in there because I don't remember. So yeah. Anyway, so this I shouldn't have picked up. I don't know why I did. I think I did because it was lace and it was at the beginning of summer. And I thought, oh, maybe this will sell well. No. Um, it took 75 days for it to sell. It's Alfani, which Alfani I think is at Kohl's. Peach lace, overlay, sleeveless, A-line mini dress. It was cute. Um, but I would not pick it up again or this brand for that matter. $8 plus $8.49 shipping, which I don't, I didn't actually spend. I, I think I ended up sending it in a, uh, I did spend, send it priority because if I sold, if I sell something on eBay and I think they don't like it, if you, if you set, if you charge for priority, but you send it first class, I don't think eBay likes that. So I did send it priority, but it was, I it did the envelope one. So it was $7.52 and shipping. So I made a tiny bit smidge back on profit. Anyway, so I made $4.89 profit. I did get it at the bins. I mean, I would never buy this at a thrift store, but you know, I would never buy that brand again. Anyway, um, Maurice's, it took 43 days for this to sell. So Maurice's women's one stretch denim crop jean jacket. Um, it, was $18 plus shipping. So I made a profit of $13.21, which is not terrible. So I would probably pick up a jean jacket by um, Maurice's again. Absolutely. But I don't tend to pick up most of their stuff. Their denim does okay though. Um, Banana Republic factory women's eight navy blue cherry print skirt. This was new with tag. Did not go for a ton, uh, but it wasn't like silk. So if it was a silk skirt, I probably would have got more. It was, um, and plus it was Banana Republic factory. It was polyester, but it was still really cute. It took 41 days for it to sell. I still made a profit of $12.56, so that's great. Um, Forever 21 women's large blue denim trucker jacket sold in three days. Now, this person gave me like a four-star rating on Macari and said that it, it was not really a women's large. I mean, does she not realize that, that Forever 21, you know, sizes things smaller? I mean, I guess I should, I could have put that in there. I didn't even think about it when I was um, doing it. But the thing is my mannequin is a size six, eight, and it was too big for the mannequin. So it was not a small medium. It was, it was probably like a medium large, you know, it was just not, uh, she, so she apparently she's going to embellish it and gift it, which is fine. You know, and it was funny because she couldn't really open a case because it, it's the tag. The tag says large, you know, and she could have asked for measurements. She did not. So I didn't have them in there, but she didn't ask for them either. So I don't feel like there's no fault there. Anyway, um, so I sold for $25 Mercari and I made profit of $19.55. Um, next item was Forever 21 Plus, which Forever 21 Plus can do pretty good for me. I have sold it like... There's two times I sold it on 
eBay. And at both times it went to Germany, which I thought was pretty funny. So, but this time was not one of those times. I did not make that much money, but I did make an $8 profit. So it sold for $13 plus shipping. So my profit was $8 and 16 cents. Not terrible. It took 63 days for it to sell. Um, Union Bay Juniors Extra Large Short Holes. This was new with tags. I thought it would do a do okay. It didn't do terrible. Um, it took 43 days for it to sell. So it sold for 20 bucks on Poshmark. So my profit was $14.32. Um, Express Stretch Women's 1314. I want to stress that. That was in my title, my description, and in the pictures. You could see it. Like, I wasn't concealing. It was for some opened a case. It was sold on Poshmark. It took 39 days for it to sell. She opened a, she opened a case because she's like, this says 1314, which doesn't fit the same as 14. You marked it as 14. Well, guess what? Poshmark doesn't let you pick two sizes. You could do custom, but then I don't think you come up in searches. When someone goes for 1314, because you're in a custom. So I wanted to show up in a, in a search. So I usually go for the women's size. And jeans do this too. They'll show the junior size and the what they equivalent is their equivalent to the women's size. A lot of brands do that. This isn't a new concept. So I thought it was really funny. So I responded on the case. And if you if you follow me on Instagram, you, you would know that. Uh, but I responded on the case going. It was in my pictures. It was in my title. It was in my description and in my pictures. I did not mislead you in any way. And I left it at that. I mean, I figured that is good. It is cut and dry. And so, she, and so Poshmark asked for additional pictures, which they do almost every case I've ever had. They always ask for additional pictures, which is really funny, from the buyer. And she's like, no prop, no worries. I'll just reposh. Because I think she realized she's kind of out of luck. When I point that out, like it was all there. And you, if you didn't use the, the information in a meaningful way, and I think this had measurements, not my problem. So what if? Anyway, so I got my money because I did win that case. It, it sold for $20. And so I made profit of $14.32. Now, this is the kind of like fast fashion, like Old Navy stuff that I like to pick up because this was new tag. It was Old Navy Women's Extra Extra Large Stevie Ponty Burnt Ginger Pants. Took 25 days for it to sell. It sold for 20 bucks plus shipping on eBay. So I made a profit of $14.92, which is great because it sold in under 30 days. Um, this was an Aritzia Wilford Free Medium Lowlin Purple like uh, Crop Sweater. It took 24 days for it to sell, so not terrible. It sold for $35. And so I made a profit of $26.41. This I will never pick up again. Like I pick up this brand very sparingly now. I picked this up almost a year ago now. So it took 295 days for it to sell. It's BCBG Max Azria medium blue and black striped mini banded skirt. Since I thought that I found the stock photo, I thought maybe it would sell better. It didn't. It sold for $12 plus shipping on Macari. So I made a profit of $7.65. Okay. Almost done. I only got a few more. Um, Athleta white athletic shorts with built in, like has built in underwear. So it sold in 36 days. So like you wear for tennis or hiking, or whatever. Um, it sold for 20 bucks on Poshmark with a shipping discount. So I made a profit of $16.79. I don't know if that can be true. Let me look that up. I think that's wrong. Oops. Why do I always have at least one mistake? I made $12.60. So it's going to be about, four. last time it was about $4 off. It's like a little over $4 off this time. Sorry. I, I was going off the, I was, I sometimes put the sale, not the sale price. I don't know what I put. I don't know what I was putting there. It wasn't the right one. Oh, it was the one down from it. Oops. Okay, well, it's about four dollars off. The next one is correct. <laughs> um, so my numbers should actually be well, no, they'll still be four dollars off. Anyway, this took 30 days for it to sell. It was free people, tie-dye, raw hem, smocked waist, skirt, boho, and it was extra small. It was cute. 
um, $20 plus shipping on eBay. So I made a profit of $16.79. That's for real. But my sales and my profit will be about $4 off. Sorry. At this point. Um, American Eagle Outfitters. It's the boyfriend favorite boyfriend uh, flare jeans. They sold for $25 on Poshmark. So I made a profit of $18 because I paid like two bucks for them. Next up, oh, and those took 18 days for them to sell. This took 68 days for it to sell. It was Speedo Men's 34 uh, blue swim shorts. I got these at a thrift store. I probably shouldn't have picked them up there. So I made, uh, they sold on Facebook Marketplace. So I made a profit of $6.35 because my cost of goods was like $7. So yeah, I shouldn't have. I don't really go to thrift stores that much now. I, I'm basically specifically the bins because I need to keep my cost of goods low. So anyway, Charter Club Women's 1X white 100% linen light jacket. It did have some staining on the neckline. I did disclose that. Um, so it took 66 days for it to sell. But somebody, um, I did have free shipping on this. So it sold for $19.43 because I had done in the middle of the month, I had done, I decided to do a free shipping event on eBay for like a weekend to see if I can spark more sales and it did spark some more sales, um, but not the amount I was hoping for. Anyway, so the profit was $7.34, which isn't terrible. You know, a bin's fine in this charter club, which is Macy's. Um, Chico's Women Extra Large, size 16 or Vanity 3, burnout Bryn fashion um, skirt. 24 day, took 24 days for it to sell. It sold for $36, but it had free shipping on Macari. I was trying free shipping on Macari for a little bit. I decided against it and went back to charging for shipping. So my profit was $20.93, which I'm still happy with that profit. Because if I make a $20 profit on most items, I'm happy. Um, but on most items, I don't, most items make them about 10. Anyway, this took 10 days. Is it 10 days for this to sell? Yes. 10 days for this to sell. It is a torrid women's two X striped open front three force ruche sleeve blazer. It, um, it sold for $18 plus shipping. So I made a profit of $10.87. This is Anthropology Porridge Polka Dot Black and White Tie Neck Blouse. It's a small. It's really cute, though. And it took five days for it to sell. And I it sold for $20. It had free shipping on it on eBay. So I made a profit of $11.23. This one was Liverpool. It's women's 12 or size 31 black knit pants took five days for it to sell. It sold for $20 plus shipping. And so I made a profit of $15 and 19 cents. And the last item is a uh, just Taylor, which is from that America thrift supply, uh, dumpster firebox <laughs> dresses. Um, so it was the first one to sell. It sold literally the same day I posted. It, so it took zero days for it to sell. And it's a, the Just Taylor Women's for Orange Pink Sheath Dress. It sold for $15 plus shipping on eBay. I think I had it up there for $25, $20 or $25. I think I had it there for $20. Someone's like, how about $15? I'm like, sold. Get it out of my house. So I made a profit of $15.19 because not it didn't cost $6.24 to ship it. So I don't generally um, refund shipping unless it's a lot over. If it's like a dollar or two over, I keep it because I also use supplies. So my shipping price is not just for the amount of shipping. It's also for the supplies I use to ship. Like, you know, the poly mailer and the plastic bag it goes in and that kind of thing. And the tissue I might use or whatever to secure the package and make it presentable. I do have that kind of built in there. My Dymo label, it's not free. So I build that all into the price of the shipping, you know, so I don't generally refund it unless it's quite a bit, you know, over. Anyway. So, um, yeah, and that's the end. So at the very end of this week, so I made $979.83 in sales, which isn't, you know, that terrible. It's it's better than some that are, are doing, and um, so I'm not going to complain about it. So I made a profit of $625.04.
Do I want to make more? Absolutely. Do I want every week to be like my last what sold video? Absolutely. But it's not going to because that's not what this in industry is like. So next week is going to be much like the same uh, in sales. But the week we're in currently, it's pretty good. So stay tuned because of the uh, in a few weeks, I'll release that video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you will subscribe if you're not already subscribed and like this and leave me a comment because I love reading them. Thank you so much.